Fingers crossed that this works, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, I'm actually on my PC. I'm playing games on my PC for once. I'm fingers crossed this works. If so, I am super excited. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Judge Sim. Uh, basically, this game is you decide, you're, you're judge. It was eight bucks, nine bucks, ten bucks with tax on, uh, what is it called? Or whatever it's called on Steam. And I kept seeing it around. I thought, hey, maybe let's give my little hat in the ring. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying that. Let's, uh, let's, let's give it a try. Let's see how this works. If you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. Uh, I'm a judge. I am very easily bribed. Let's get right in the game. Ding dong. Yes. Hello. Hello. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ooh. Hello? Sir. You cannot be entering the... My name. You have mail. Oh, I type my name here. Uh, Tendi. Tendi, you have mail. Let's, uh, let's, hold on, real quick. Let's, uh, arise. Dear Tendi, you were appointed judge. We did it, boys. We did it. Top of the legal system. Oh, Banana Republic courthouse today. Oh, I get to, oh, I don't get to touch. Okay. Uh, oh, that looks exactly like me. Oh, oh my God! I see you. Y'all, y'all see this dude? Probably did it. Ah, Your Honor. First of all, as ministry, we wish you success in your new position. We also want to remind you of the details that are important to make the correct judgment. <laughs> You don't need that. You can find evidence in the evidence file. At the same time, you get information, whether it is digital evidence or on the tablet. The case file includes content of the case and information it, of the defendant. Okay. You can ask someone questions to the... You can ask... Oh, my gosh. You can ask some defendants to the... Que you can ask some questions to the defendants by clicking on microphone. These questions will play an important role in deciding your case. On the tablet, you can access some digital evidence, such as camera footage, audio recordings, or, or, or audio recordings. You can also access the recordings of your dialogue with the defendants via microphone. These recordings will be added at the end of your dialogue with the defendants. Great. Good to know. The law book contains the rules and penalties for crimes that you need to look at to make the right decision. Uh, is that actually in courtroom? Finally, you will make your decision. Uh, remember your decisions of the law book your decisions will have consequences making wrong decisions in the law book cases will cause your bars to increase how full your bars are affects probably if you get 12 on the dice the screen after each case therefore remember that the game can even end if the bars are not completely full ministry of justice signed off by ministry of justice great oh, dude what was this one do not contain evidence good to know case file James Adley, 26, male, fingerprint number 212341. Great to the Banana Republic, Banana Republic Court. Violation of restrictions. James, who is seen patrolling police by the patrolling police at 2 in the morning after some specified restriction time of 10 o'clock, was taken into custody on the grounds that he did not allow criminal procedure to be applied. James, it was around 150. Uh, about 10, 10 to 2. Uh, I wasn't feeling well at the moment. I forgot where the restrictions are going, please. <laughs> Sir. Sir. Hush. Uh, police. I saw the police while they are on patrol and remembered that there were restrictions then. Then I insisted on not being punished. Well, is there a time limit? No. I... Oh, I'm gonna move my camera. Hold on. Basically, you have your possibility of being assassinated, possibility of arrest, mental health, and I'm poor. Okay. Law book restrictions. Uh, I don't see any restrictions. That's terrorism and high treason. We don't need that. Uh, I'm literally just looking for. Oh, violation of six months published. Dude, 
Six months and a thousand dollar fine. That is crazy. Okay. Uh, let's ask him. Why didn't you allow the police to write a fine? Because I thought it well, I was right and they didn't give me a chance to explain. I didn't want it to come to this. In your statement, you said you were, you said you didn't feel well during, I hear that. Night, why didn't you call an ambulance? Please just say it was just a cold. As I said, your honor, thank you. Uh, the first thing that, oh my God, can we hurry this up? Jesus Christ, talk faster. First thing that came to my mind at the moment was to go out and while I was doing it, I didn't think of the details. Hmm. I think, looking at it, I think that six months public service a little too much. Thousand dollar fines, probably about right. However, I am a man of the law. Oh, James Adley. Oh, oh. You were found guilty. You will pay thousand dollars. You will get six months of public service court is adjourned I deserve a mint sorry what oh I have to <sighs> okay your honor I'm scared okay Okay. A little bit horrified. Oh, this is my, my beautiful wife. My beautiful son. The daughter. And the beautiful cat. Uh, mental health. I uh, still got no monies. Week one. Go outside. What can I do outside? Casino or the bar. Nah, I'm too broke for that. I also can't afford it. End the day. So basically, 10 minutes in, this is what the game is. It's, uh, you be <laughs> Bill Pass, convicts with criminal record will now be given increased penalties. Oh, shit. Sadie, you wanna, you wanna do the next case? Yeah. I got my dog in the back. Oh, shit. I got my dog in the back. She'll do the next case. He's gonna have a record, won't he? Yep. He has criminal record. Axel Brennan, 27 male. Possession and carrying of thing. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I don't know what I'm allowed to say. A small amount of mints. No. Because I'm eating... Okay, they're cotton candy mints, for those wondering. Uh, I, I don't know what to... Of things were found on this person named Axel, who was subject to identity police, resulting in a body... Dude, body search is crazy. Result of the identity, identity scan, it was seen that the person had tried and acquitted twice before charges of possession, possession and carrying. As a result, the subsequent investigations, no, as... It, Oh my god, no evidence was found that the person named Axel Brennan was involved in the dealing. Okay, that's good to know. This is a statement. Statement. I admit I was carrying the substance, but I only use it in my own environment when I am alone to calm my mind. I will not have I have not harmed anyone and never will. I will not use the substance from now on. Okay. Well, five grams of Coca-Cola. Well, let's see what we get for possession. What did we find for possession? Where is narcotic crimes? 10 months, public service, aggravated sentence. Uh, we can just do the 10 months. Oh, but he has a, hold on. So he has that, but he also has, should be given aggravated punishment for the crime. I think if we stick with 10 months because he said he won't do it again and he wasn't dealing. Wait, aggravate, dude, no shot I'm gonna give him. There's no shot I'm giving 18 months of public service and five thousand dollars. I'm doing the 10 months. He wasn't dealing. Oh, but I don't want to get like assassinated because of it. Nah, he gets. I'll ask him. Were you going to sell the stuff? <laughs> Were you gonna sell this stuff before you got caught in the ID check? No, your honor. Thank you. 
Uh, I was just on my way home and suddenly I saw the police checking IDs. I wanted to change direction, but I was already on their radar. Where did you get this stuff from? It's a dealer. I get it through a friend I don't know from whom he gets it from. Is this is the person you call my friend? Your close friend? No, your honor. Thank you. He's someone I met at a bar called Grand Pub a month ago. I don't know him personally. I don't know him personally. Hmm. <laughs> Sadie, okay. Let me let me read you through this, Sadie. Let me let me get the camera down here. Sadie, no camera now. Okay. Here's the deal. Come here. Come close. Hello. Homie, five milligrams of the white stuff. And I'm not talking powdered sugar. Base uh, I, no, no. focus up, Sadie. Focus up. I need you here. Not your butt. I need you here. Okay, are you listening? Okay. Five milligrams. Did I say five grams before? Weird. Five milli of no listen. Five millis. Oh no, I'll let you out after you decide. Five millis. But he already has which is ten months, because he's carrying. He doesn't plan to sell it. Okay? You got me here? Doesn't plan to sell it. Okay? However, he has a criminal record. Should we give him the 18 months and 5 thou? 5k? Lick if you think we should. Oh, you see that here? You see that here, folks? Buddy, my dog. Buddy, it is your unlucky day. Buddy, it is your lucky day. Alex Brendan, I... Determine you biz well, my dog five thousand dollars and eighteen months community service. Court is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, Sadie. Just because you did that, thank you. Oh, do I do I die? Hold on. I gotta let her out now. Uh she I, I did make the deal with her. If she makes the judgment, she gets to go. And we success. We're good. I still don't know what this is. Oh, boys, how do you like the new setup? Right, I add. Uh, new desk. I, I think I talked about this in my last stream. New desk. New everything. Uh, the only thing that's different. You see over there, that was where my PS4 used to be. Now it's underneath here. If you watched my last stream a while ago, you know what happened. And we got the game sign. Rooms coming together. Rooms coming together. We actually got the monitor here that can do both. And I like it. It's nice. Great. Children. I'm still broke. When is my pay? My wife is gonna leave me. I'm so broke. <gasps> There's two of you. All right. No criminal record. Jason Hamst Hamstred? Assassin. <laughs> Assassination. Okay, we gotta we gotta focus up here. This is super important. During the night, Freddie Close, CEO of Glenswick, was found dead in the trunk of his car during a routine patrol by the car park security. It was determined that the CCTV camera covering the area where the incident took place was not working at the time. Oh, buddy, you might look down. Details, security guard Jason Hamstred, who was the only employee in the company at the time of the incident, became, suspect, became a suspect and was taken into custody by police. Jason, on the evening of the incident, I only had three hours, only three hours had passed since I started my work. While I was doing my routine hourly patrol, I saw Mr. Close, Coles, but the open trunk of the vehicle caught my attention. When I approached the vehicle, I saw Mr. Close's lifeless body in the trunk. What caught my attention about the body is that it had a red rose on it. Red rose on it. Ooh. Afterwards, I immediately notified the police. So CCTV was broken, eh? Let's check, uh, let's check. Ooh. What is, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, pause, what is this? Your honor, a lot of evidence has been lost in result of an anarchist attacks on our state. In order to ensure the security of an evidence case. Dude, I have to actually think to get into the evidence? Three times for the green light, oh sh Your honor, I don't appreciate this. No shot, I actually just lost the evidence. 
All right. How do you think the killer entered the car park? Okay. Can't find any answer to that, your honor. Well, a little upset now. Did you have a problem with the CEO of the company, Freddie Kohls? Do you did you know him well? Glenswick is a really big company. I know them by name. I started three months ago. I only interviewed with the recruitment department, and I had no problems with him. Hmm. There's no shot. Hmm. Dude, there's actually no shot. I blew it. <gasps> Get a cat. Oh, I can buy things from my apartment. That's so cute. He doesn't know. He's playing dumb, and I don't have the evidence. All right. I've come to my decision. Jason Hamstred. Sixty-two years of prison, baby. Get out of here. I don't need the evidence. I make my own evidence. Wait. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. I don't know if that's right. I hate that. That is so stupid. There's something that told me, apparently. But I only know the answer to. Please enter your password. So how you guys doing? Sorry, the ATM is taking very, very long. Uh, house rent plus shopping. Salary payment, $600. I'm pretty good with that. I'm going to actually take out the... I'm going to take up 100. I might go gamble it away. Should I go gamble? I might go gamble. I stick my money out of my elbow. Sweet. Thank you. Have a good day. <sighs> Anything for you, daughter? Anything for you? You're needy, daughter. You're needy. Very, very needy. All right. Well, now I can't go gamble our house away. So I don't have money for it. Week two, case one. Oh, two dudes. Oh, two dudes. Oh, I don't like the idea of this. I have a 25% chance of getting shot. Okay. He has a criminal record. Uh, auto theft. The vehicle. I see this. The other guy has a record. No, he doesn't. Colonel Green does not have a record. Good to know. Uh, auto theft. The vehicle was stolen while parked in a parking lot in the neighborhood of Lehman as lives is that this guy no it's Colonel Green following the denunication didn't none what following the something of the on the morning of the night of the vehicle was thought to have been stolen the license plate was traced the vehicle turned over the same morning as a result of the searches cigar scissors was found in the vehicle apart from this additional founding. No additional foundings were found. Details. Probably the identity check. Person inside uh, vehicle determined to be Big or Bob Isaac Grove, nicknamed Big after a former car thief. I think that's the other guy. Bob Isaac or Isaac Grove. Grove. Can't read today. Lesman Diaz. I went to our summer house community. Family and forgot to lock my car because I was tired from the road. The possibility that the person I stole also took advantage of this. Cool. Uh, from Big. Uh, I get it now. One of the day the car was stolen. I thought to have been stolen. A long time friend of mine, Colonel Green, called me and said that he had urgent business picking up party time. Uh, I thought this was urgent, so I quickly went to Colonel Green's house. Connell gave me the car with a piece of paper addressed, place to take care of the package. So he's just a smuggler. So I drove off with the car, and as soon as I got pulled over, I found the car. Upon this statement, Connell Green was found at his home and brought to the police for questioning. I do not Connell. 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 I'm going to call him Connell. I do not accept any of these accusations against me. I, against me. I don't know anything. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I can do this. Oh, that lights up. Cigar was found in the vehicle. Fingerprint 212314. 
He lied. He doesn't know anything about this. It's a cigar. So he's right. So he, he has to be right. Fingerprint found on the evidence. It, it has to be this guy stole the car and this guy's just a smuggler. Okay, so auto theft. Theft crimes. Auto theft two year. So homie will get two year. So this dude gets two year. The other. So what does he get then? So he'll get two years. I don't want to talk to him. Were you, where were you the night of the car was stolen? That night I was sitting at a place called Peppy's with my girlfriend. Before I was, was too late at night. Before it was too late at night, I dropped her off at, ooh, can we call the girlfriend? At my house. When I went home, I fell asleep uh, shortly after. Oh my God, talk faster, dude. In the morning I woke up to Connell's call. What did Connell say? When was your last conversation with Connell? It had been almost six months since we last spoke to Connell. I was very surprised he, that he called me after all this time. Also, it had been a long time since, oh my God. Been a long time since I left these jobs. I am now a regular life and I regular relationship. I am not guilty. When did you meet with Bob Isaac? Where'd you meet with Big? I had known Bob for years, for over 20 years, and he is a dear friend. Great. Mr. Groove says you give him a stolen vehicle, deliver a package, delivered a package and asked him to take it where he wanted it. Is this true? This has nothing to do with me. The last time I met Bob was six months ago. Bob has slandered me. Hmm. Okay. So we know that the cigarette cigar cutter the cigar box wasn't here was by him this is what i'm trying to think homie was just thrown into a job which i don't think i want to give him i don't really want to get him because he said he's i don't want to give him it's not homicide we'll let him free because it did just seem he was thrown into it and since this is just a this is just an auto theft He's getting it for two years. Okay. This is how I'm doing it. Big Isaac. Not guilty. Now you, in the act of stealing Grand Theft Auto, Two-year jail sentence. Court is adjourned. Reliable possibility. What is this? Normal and reliable po- Normal? No, 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 Okay, it doesn't matter. Do one more. Is that actually this game's really fun. I will not lie, this game is really fun. Do one more. Call it a day, call it a game, call it a video. If you guys wanna see this again, let me know. Due to a recent increase in a anarchist activity, the government has declared a state of emergency. State of emergency declared on BTV 2724. State of emergency declared. Due to state of emergency, judges can now be approved to appoint, can now be appointed to all types of cases. Yes. Oh, I get all the good ones now. Week two, case two. Oh my God, there's more people. Oh, case subject. The situation will fall take custody of 12 year old okay Ben uh, okay so we're talking about a custody case situation who of who will take custody of 12 year old Ezekiel Robin and his sister nine-year-old Clara Robin defendant Ben Robin plaintiff Diaz Robin Ben and Diaz have recently divorced custody was filed by Diaz Robin the mother of the children for custody of their children is equal in Clara. As a result of the divorce, the mother has a certain amount of alimony that she demands from the father. What does the alimony... It's Ben, Ezekiel... Well, it seems to be split up pretty evenly here. Ben, you go with... Or Ezekiel, you go with Ben. Clara, you go with Diaz. 
Damn, bam, done. Are you sad that your? Oh, we're talking about the. We're talking to Ezekiel here. Are you sad that your parents are divorced? No, I'm not, because my parents didn't get along very well, and they argued all the time. My sister and I were very uncomfortable, and I couldn't stand the crying of my sister. It's fair. Uh, so do you want to live with your mom or with your dad? What is important to me is my sister, and I certainly don't want to leave her. But the best thing for her would be to live with my mother. Would you prefer? Who would you prefer? My mother. My mother is more important to me. I think being with my mother will be better for me and my mother. Of course, with my sister. Are you sad that your parents are divorced? To Clara, yes, very much. Even though they fight, I love them both very much. And I can't live without even one of them. Do you love your mom more or your dad? Dude, why are you asking a nine-year-old this? That's so tough. I love them both very much. I never wanted my parents to get divorced. That is why I feel so sad. If you had to choose, it's very valid. If you had to choose, who would you choose? I feel like she's going to say both. I don't want to choose one or the other. My only wish right now is that my brother doesn't leave me. He's always... Okay. Uh, he, always, he always supports me. Please don't separate my brother and me. Here's my thinking. Hmm. All I see... All I see is that the, the brother cares more about the mom. And thinks that is more important. Okay? Tell me if in the comments if you think I'm completely missing this. Brother thinks mom's more important. Daughter doesn't care who she's with. Now, the brother is older, so he would have a little bit more um, knowledge. But the the daughter doesn't care. Can I choose? What what happens here? Can I do a split custody? Dude! These are my options? There, there's no option for a split custody bi weekly or weekly experience? Giving custody to both children, both children to the mother, I'm giving custody of both children to the father, I'm giving the son to the father and the daughter to the mother, I'm giving the daughter to the mother and the son to the mother. Or daughter to the father and the son to the mother, or I'm placing children or orphanages, orphan orphanages due to lack of conditions. I'm guess both to the mom, since they don't care that nothing was. As long as they don't split up, dude. I actually hate that. Just have a bi-weekly, just have a bi-weekly thing. Or like a weekly, like weekly visits. Visitation rights. If we live on this one, I get a candy. Get a little, little candy. Yes. End day. I'm broke. I need more money. Hello, sir. Ooh. Assassination. In the morning, a person named... Oh, we have like that. Oh, in the morning, a person named Amanda Salva, Salvia was jogging in a forested area near a highway and came across a lively body of a person named Francis Kerms while jogging. I'm not going to read all this. No CCT footage. Asphyxiation. So basically, I think he was strangled. I think that's what asphyxiation means. 
without any signs of impact on his body. According to allegations, the last person the deceased was with on conduct was James Redlow, which is this guy, a number of board directors of Karen and Wells. That night, we left the company together. We went to a bar called Loose Drop with his vehicle after one, staying there until about one hour, staying there about one hour. He dropped me off in my home. I don't know where he did after. The, ooh, Francis and I were good friends while sitting at the bar. I saw him troubled, but no matter how much I insisted, no, I'm saying anything. He just said something was with his life, and these days, no matter what he did, he couldn't change things. That's all I can say. I am so sorry for the loss of my close friend. That morning, like every day, I headed to the area in the forest that I always prefer to go run. While I was ta- taking a break from the drink of water, I saw a body lying flat in the bushes. I immediately informed the police, and I remember only one person was laying around was a suit and had a red rose on him. Red, red low, red rose. Dude, it's him. And no CCT footage, so there's no digital evidence. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got this. I got this. I got this. Uh, you to you. You to you. You to you. You to you. And you to you. There we go. Light work. Do we think this guy did it? We think this guy did it. I think he just did it. Rope found used to kill. Rose found near the body. Is that it? That's the, all the ev- Well, yeah, I know. But that's not a. That's not something you'd use for yourself. That's not. That's something you would use to actually off somebody. That's not something you would use to off yourself. How long is your friendship with Francis? This is going to be interesting. I want to see what he says here. We've been working in the same company for about four years, but we have had a close friendship for the last two years. Okay. Was there anyone in the company who did not like Francis Crims or had threatened him in recently? No. As far as I know, there is no such person. In fact, he was CEO of our company, and he was well liked by every member of our board team. Did you often go to the bar and question with him? Yes. We used to go at least twice a week and vent to each other. Hmm. Oh, maybe he messed with his wife. Red low, red rose. Well, did he have a... He already had a criminal record, right? Yeah. Was it a assassination or just straight up murder? Just straight assassination. Okay. Where were you on the night of the 13th? All right, homie. Well, red low, red rose. James Redlow, 102 years in jail, buddy. Get out of here. Okay. 102 years in jail, buddy. Shouldn't have killed him. This was what you made in the case this week. Oh. Dude, we're rich. Okay. Well, if this video's up, I'm going to be super happy. My assassination parts 50. That must have been wrong. He must have not done it. Draw on the money, baby. Alright. Let's go. Alright. I'm gonna stop here. I like that I get paid weekly. I wish I got that. Paid in real life. Thank you guys so much for watching. If, you, if this video is up, I'm gonna be so happy. If not, I'm gonna be so sad. Uh, you guys have been amazing. If you want to see a part two of this video, please let me know. It's actually kind of fun. Uh, thank you. Subscribe. Check out my other channel. Check out Let's Talk Tennis podcast on basically any platform or podcasting platform you can find it on. 
and we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Peace.